What is up everyone? In this video, we're gonna showcase Mona. A lot of the people had been telling me that you could use Mona as a DPS, but I strongly think it is better for you to build her as a support. But in this game, even if you say it's support, it doesn't really mean like support support from like League of Legends. It's not gonna turn Mona into like a Blitzcrank where she only can grab with her Q or something like that. No, no, no. Mona is a support slash DPS, okay? She will do some moderate damage. She would also allow other party members to create elemental burst to do maximum amount of damage, okay? So let's first take a look at her artifacts. I chose Noblesse Oblige set because I strongly believe that building her as a support DPS would be a really nice thing to do. Because if you look at this set, it says 2P set gives you elemental burst damage plus 20%. Okay, that is always good, right? Percentage for damage. Not attack percentage, but damage percentage is always good. 4P set, it says using an elemental burst increases all party members attack by 20% for 12 seconds. Yeah? Because what I noticed about this game is that after you do elemental burst or you try to do it, you only do it for like maybe 10 seconds and then all your skill cooldowns goes away. So you gotta have to like wait 10 or 20 seconds in order for you to do another wave of elemental burst. So this set would be really nice to use if you use Mona as a support. She is at third constellation. It means her level of Stellaris Phantasm is increased by three. Okay, there's that. And two, it says when a normal attack hits, there's a 20% chance that it will be automatically followed by a charged attack. This is okay, but you don't have to have this to in order for you to do a lot of damage, okay? And the first constellation says the effect of hydro-related elemental reactions are enhanced for 8 seconds after a character hits an enemy affected by an omen. Electro charge damage is increased by 15%, vaporize increased by 15%, hydro throw increased by 15%, duration for which enemies are frozen is increased by 15%. This would allow her to be a better support, right? And this is her talents right now. I heard that her Q does a lot of damage. So her talents for her Q is maxed so far. And in order for me to level it up more, I have to ascend her to phase 5. And the second one, I tried to level it, but... Yeah. But you will see a lot of damage, okay? And the uh, normal attack, if you want to do a lot of damage with her auto, then you have to prioritize your normal attack talent, okay? And then when you ascend Mona to fourth phase, this is what you get. It says increases Mona's hydro damage bonus by a degree equivalent to 20% of her energy recharge rate. I talked about energy recharge rate, right? So what I'm going to do in this video is that I'm going to kind of compare her damage between attack percentage and energy recharge rate. Because her level is lower than the maximum, maximum of level, right? Because the attack percentage kind of scales off of your base attack. And in order for me to do a valid comparison between energy recharge rate and attack percentage option for artifacts is that I would have to have Mona at max level, okay? So here's 70. So if I have Mona at 90 level, then it would have been a very valid experiment. However, it's not. So just keep that in mind that I'm comparing energy recharge rate main and attack percentage main. Right now I have attack percentage main, attack at 1300, okay? My energy recharge rate is 130%. The weapon I'm using is Skyward Atlas. This weapon allows her to do a lot of damage, but pretty much because of Mona's passive, I think it would be really nice for you to find a weapon that has energy recharge rate. And because I have this at level 20, I was trying to compare this too and kind of hope that she would do a lot and a lot of damage. But the difference in attack was too big to do a comparison. So I would just say that Pavonius Codex would be a good weapon for you to use on Mona if you want to do a lot of damage. And this says crit hits have 100% chance to regenerate a small amount of elemental particles which will regenerate 6 energy for the character. Can only occur once every 6 seconds. This would allow her to recharge her Q a lot faster. That means you're going to be using Q and it's you're not going to be able to spam it. But it just means that your Q is going to get charged a lot faster. So first... I'm just gonna be using this, a fixed weapon, okay? Maybe later, if I find out about those effects for the energy recharge rate, or if I get this Favonius Codex to a higher level and match it with Skyward Atlas, maybe you can do an experiment later. But right now, I just wanted to see the burst damage of Mona and also her potential for being a good support. So far, I thought she was working out pretty great, but you're about to see it in the battle, okay? I am going to be showcasing her in a pyro regis vine all right it is fire 
and because I use like D Luke and Kiching as a main DPS, I kind of struggled here and I started using Mona. It had been working out pretty well. But because this video is to make people feel good about starting the game with Mona, we are going to see how much damage Mona can do to a uh, Pyro, which is fine. Let's go. Alright, so let's go ahead and do some damage. Drop E. And let's wait until this flower goes down. Use Q. That 10k damage. I like that. I like that a lot. And that normal damage you see is probably from the weapon. Alright, so that was the damage with... Attack percentage main. We are gonna swap it out to energy recharge and see how much damage we do. So let's go. It looks like the damage I'm doing is not much of a difference. Is that a oh, crit damage? That was a crit. And there is Q. This is not so bad. Alright. So... So my editor is going to show you the difference between the attack percentage main versus the recharge main option. So with the energy recharge, I lose about 100 attack, right? But it seems like the energy recharge was doing its job because of our talent. So there was that. And keep that in mind that the artifact that I was using for Mona was Noblesse of Leech, not the damage DPS set that people were asking me to use. And because Mona's attack, E, Q are all elemental hits, high elemental mastery is preferred. If not, it's totally okay. You saw that I was doing a good amount of damage even without a full DPS set, okay? So in real battle with this setting, with this artifact and weapon, I will not be using Mona all the time considering her as a main DPS, no. I would be using E, Q, and then swap it to another character. And that mark that she does with the Q is pretty much like a flag where you can kind of explode that with another element. So that's why I think Mona is really good character to start with. And also her artifact set would allow you to do a better damage because if you do elemental burst, then you would have 20% extra attack. And one more thing I wanted to kind of highlight is that her E attracts, it provokes the enemy. And also, her running motion allows you to run on the water like this. So along with Mona, Venti, and like Kiching, it lets you do a lot more things as you explore the world. But yeah, there's that. I remember saying that I don't like how Mona looks. You know, seriously though, I don't really care what you guys are into. So even if I don't like something, please don't tell me that I'm wrong or something like that because I don't really care whether if you care about what I'm into, okay? <laughs> All right, that's the deal. So when we're doing a showcase for Mona and say that she's doing some okay damage without comparing her damage to another hero, right? So I'm gonna be using my Keqing. We're gonna be seeing how much damage Keqing is gonna be doing over time compared to how much Mona is doing to this Pyro Resist Fine, okay? So right now, I have Keqing at level 70. Attack, almost 1900. And she is using Aquila Favonia, Refine Rank 2. Let's do this. You can already see that she's not that fast compared to Mona. Well, of course, because of the element. Uh, I'm stuck here. But after we get those Resist Fine down, then I'm doing some decent damage as well. But it seems like using Mona is so much better than just trying to do a lot of damage with Keqing. So there's that. And there's one thing I want to talk about the energy charge for Mona. 
You know how you notice that, you know, using Mona Auto, using E, didn't charge her Q fully after she used her Q? If you could find the amount of energy recharge to a point where you can fill your Q right away with E and couple of autos, then that would be really nice. However, there is a cooldown on your Q. Which makes a problem for Mona to be used as DPS, but if you use her as a support, then there's nothing to be wasted. So I believe Mona with a support build slash DPS with Noblesse Oblige set is the best build. If I change my mind, I will make another video saying that how to build Mona guide and explain about all the sets you could use, okay? And thank you for watching this long video about how I'm using Mona or what I think about Mona. And uh, congratulations for those of you who started the game with Mona. She's pretty good. And she's water. For those of you who had been using Mona as a full DPS, you might want to tell me what set you're exactly using so I can share this information with others. But since everything is so limited in this game right now, it's too early in the game and it doesn't allow me to farm all day, I just can't do all the showcase, you know? I wish I could have done a DPS Mona showcase, but it didn't work out. And for those of you who's looking for a community where you can ask for help or uh, see if people want to do co-op with you because in real life you don't have friends, right? I don't have friends. I have you guys. You guys are my only friends. But anyways, for those of you who doesn't have a lot of friends that plays Genshin Impact, feel free to join my Discord server. I'm gonna leave the Discord server link down in my description of this video. Please check it out and I'll see you guys there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adiós.